What's up you guys? Welcome back. Today I'm super excited because I'm going to be doing another transformation with you guys. I already got my hair clips in, ready to beat this face. Today, Steven and I are going to my best friend's baby sister's wedding. I'm so excited. That was like a long thing. My best friend's youngest sister is getting married today. I'm really excited. And I honestly haven't done like a really glam makeup look in quite some time. I've just been doing like very natural, like everyday quick looks. Aside from of course like when I'm filming for you guys, but like to actually go out like in public. I haven't done really a really glam look in a while. So I'm really excited to just sit down, chat with you guys, and do my makeup. Make sure you guys subscribe to my channel if you have not already, and hit the little bell right next to the subscribe button so you can be notified of all of my future uploads. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. First things first, for primer, we're going to jump in with the Laura Mercier Foundation Primer. This is the hydrating one. I'm going to pop this on my skin, which is very dry right now. When is it not? This is a great primer for my dry skin girls. If you have oily skin, she makes a regular just like foundation primer, not hydrating, um, which is really, really great as well. I use that a lot too. But on days when I feel like I need a little extra moisture, this is the one I use. These eyelash extensions are also on their absolute last leg. We are going to be doing like regular lashes today, but just don't mind them. I'm kind of patiently waiting for them to fall off. I've been using oil and stuff at night. So I don't want to like, you know, actually like pry them off. So I just want them to come off naturally. But I'm like, come on, hurry up. So if you have any home remedies on how to get them off like naturally, I guess, let me know. Up next for foundation, I'm going in with an old favorite that I've recently rediscovered and I'm like, dang, I love this foundation. This is the Josie Marin Vibrancy Foundation. I first got this a couple years ago because Jaclyn Hill had recommended it and it is the most beautiful glowy foundation you will ever try. Like it's so stinking pretty. Um, I have the shade Awakened. So I'm going to shake it up. I believe this foundation actually has argan oil in it, which probably adds to the glowiness, but it literally gives like the prettiest glow. So I'm going to just pop this on. That's about two pumps because um, I kind of really want to do like a glowy makeup look today. So I'm just going to blend that out with my beauty blender. And what I like about this is for as glowy as it is, it still is like a full coverage foundation. So it's still going to definitely give you coverage and everything else because a lot of glowy foundations are much lighter coverage. Um, but this one is not. Do you guys see how pretty of a glow it like gives to the skin? I'm literally obsessed. I used to use this a lot, but with so many new things coming out, like I'm always just like trying new products and now I'm like, oh my God, why did I stop using this? <laughs> For concealer, I'm going to go in with the Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. This one is shade Nude. And I'm going to pop that on my under eye. I feel like between this concealer and Shape Tape, which is the other concealer that I normally use all the time, I get so used to having like a really big doe foot that when concealers have like regular doe foots, I'm like, oh, I don't really like this. When really it's just that like these are just really big and they're not normal. But I just feel like it makes it like easier to apply. And then gonna go in and blend that all out. It's so funny because people always talk about how like I use so much concealer, which I know I do use a lot of concealer. I just really like to like lighten and brighten my under eyes. So I almost use it as like a concealer, but also like a highlight and contour sort of thing. But I was watching uh, X on the Beach, which I don't know if anybody else watches that, but it's like one of my guilty pleasures. I think it's so funny. And there's a girl on the show who I really like. Her name is, um, dang, what is it? I think Jaless. And they were showing her one day like doing her makeup like in the bathroom or whatever and she put on even more concealer than me it was like a whole big like up the side of her face like moment and I was like oh my gosh that's why I like that girl she wears more concealer than I do <laughs> but I just thought that was funny <laughs> to set the concealer I'm gonna go in with the covergirl true blend banana powder this has literally been my obsession it's so good and I'm gonna go in on my under eyes with that and anywhere that I placed the concealer but we're gonna use a different powder all over the face because this is very brightening, obviously, the banana powder, so it has like a yellowy undertone to it. So I wouldn't suggest using this as a powder for all over the face because it's going to like skew the color of your foundation and stuff. But this powder is like amazing. It's just like the Fenty Pro Filter powder. They're like identical and I love both of them. Okay, for all over the face, I'm going to go in with the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder in Glow. I've recently discovered this. I showed you guys it in a video where I was testing new products and I was like, wow, this is amazing. Because it's basically like her translucent setting powder, but it has like a shimmer to it. So you can set like glowy foundations down, but you're not going to get rid of that glowy factor that you have on your skin. So I have really, really been liking it. And it just gives a really pretty sheen to the skin, but it's also going to make sure that your makeup like doesn't move all around. Now we're going to go in and do our brows. I'm going to jump in with the Precisely My Brow Pencil from Benefit. This is shade 3. And I'm going to fill in these brows. Honestly, me tinting my brows has like completely changed my brow life, I feel like, because I used to have to use so much product because my brows were like basically non-existent. Like I had brow hair, but it was just like translucent, so you couldn't see it. Where now I use so much less product because you can actually see my brows. So like tinting them has been amazing. I literally just use men's beard dye. Um, I have a video on how I do it, which I can link down below for you guys, or I'll put it on the screen here. 
but it just makes everything so much easier because I used to go through brow pencils like water and now I do not, <laughs> which is really nice. All right, now we are ready to go in on the eyes. I tried this palette the other day and fell in love. This is like one of the first products from Zoeva that I've ever tried. Although I've heard a lot of people talk about them for a long time, but this is the Carmel Malang palette. And it just looks like this, but these colors are like my kind of tones. And I used it and I really liked the eye look that I created. So I'm gonna try and recreate it today and show you guys. So I'm first gonna go in with Universal Delight right here. This shade might not really show up because it's like basically the same color as my lids, like maybe a slightly darker. But I just like to put a little something down first and then I'm gonna go in with a deeper shade. The only thing I don't like about this palette is that there is no mirror. So I normally always use like the mirror in palettes when I'm blending out my eyeshadow. So that's like the only thing I don't like. But aside from that, I really like how the shadows blend. Next, I'm gonna go in with Start Soft and blend that into the crease as well. This shade kind of has like a peachy undertone to it, which I personally really love, like peaches on my eyes. So it's still a brown, but definitely has that undertone. I think technically with like greenish blue eyes, you're supposed to use like purple, I wanna say, as like the eyeshadow color that's supposed to bring out like your eye color the most. But I always feel like peaches bring out my eye color the most, but it's probably incorrect. But I like literally never use purple eyeshadow. Although the new lilac collection from um, ColourPop looks so cute. So maybe I will go out of my comfort zone and use some purples and test that out for you guys. Let me know down below if y'all wanna see that. And then I'm gonna go in with Finish Sensual. And this one is a little bit more of a cool toned medium brown and I'm just gonna keep that in the crease. And that's gonna be it for like building up smokiness because I don't wanna do like too dark of an eyeshadow because it is like somewhat of a daytime wedding. Like the um, ceremony is at 3.30 so I'm not gonna walk in with like a full blown out black smoky eye even though you totally can do that. I'm just not gonna do it today. <laughs> But do you guys see how easily these shadows just like layer on top of each other? Like they just blend out really, really easily, which I really like. And then I'm just gonna go in with a pencil brush with that same color on my lower lash line. And just buff that down there. And connect everything out. Okay, and then all over my lid, I'm gonna go in with Almost Burnt, which is a really pretty gold shade. I'm gonna switch my brush with a little Fix Plus just to help it really adhere to the eyelid. And go ahead and pack this on. How stinking pretty is that? Oh, I live for a pretty, pretty gold. Obsessed. And just gonna do the same thing on my other eye. Now, the only thing that I don't love about this palette is the highlight shade is a matte. I personally tend to like shimmer highlights like for my brow bone and inner corner. So I'm just gonna pop in with the highlighter that I'm gonna use on my face today, which is from this Ofra Pro palette. It is this highlight right here. I'm pretty sure this is Rodeo Drive from Ofra, which is like one of my favorites. You guys can use code Kelly for a discount if you're interested, but um, I am just gonna go in and really amp it up. Do you see how much that amped up the inner corner? This highlight is so pretty. All of their highlights are super beautiful and you can buy them like individually. You don't have to buy them in this palette. I just have the palette here in front of me and just going to highlight the brow bone as well. Whenever I do like a really shimmery color like on my lid, I feel like I have to use like a shimmer highlight or it's like not going to look right. Up next for liner, I'm going to go in with the L'Oreal the Super Slim Liner. I'm just going to do a very thin line because we are going to put lashes on just to disguise the lash band. So I'm just going to go in. And get a super thin line there. Liner will be much easier once these lash extensions are not on anymore. All right. I'm in between a couple of different lashes. I have some options here. These are all from Bold Face Makeup. I really like their lashes because they're super... I literally just hit myself in the face because they're super fluttery, but they're still really light and the lash band is still really flexible. So I'm obsessed. I think I'm going to go in. I'm going to do these. I really like these. And I do an affiliate code with them. It is Kelly. Um, it'll get you 10% off their lashes. I do really love them. Um, and these are called Lashes Out. So I think I'm going to go in with these. And they definitely look like mink, like 3D lashes, but they're cruelty free, which I also like. All right. Going to go in and pop these bad boys on. It's been a minute since I've worn false lashes and I'm so excited about this. <laughs> and the same thing on the other eye. All right, well, we let the lash glue dry. I'm gonna go in with a liner. I'm just gonna go in with my favorite, the ColourPop Gel Liner in the shade Exit and pop this into my waterline. And then I'm just going in with the Too Faced Damn Girl Mascara on my lashes. All right, eyes are done, so we're gonna finish off the face. To bronze, I'm gonna go in with the L'Oreal Bronze Please Bronza. And I'm gonna just bronze up all over my skin with this guy. I feel like L'Oreal always kills it on their bronzers that they do, like those big pan bronzers they come out with every year. I always really like them. 
but they are normally limited edition, which kind of stinks. To consort, I'm going to go in with the Park Ave Princess. This is from Tarte. This was a favorite of mine a long time ago, so this is another thing that I just recently rediscovered and was like, why did I stop using this? It's literally the most perfect matte contour bronzer. It's amazing. So I'm going to go in and contour out my cheekbones with this. You know, do a little chisel moment. And then I am going to contour out my nose as well. I literally never used to do this, but I really like doing it now. For blush, I'm going to go in with the Blush Please. This is from the same collection from the bronzer from L'Oreal. And this shade is Blushin' in Riviera. This is a really good dupe for NARS Orgasm. It's very similar. Just popping that on my cheeks. And then for highlight, going back into the Ofra Pro palette and the Rodeo Drive highlighter. And popping this on my cheekbones. Yes, please! You guys know I love to glow, and this highlight does not disappoint. So just highlighting my skin. For my lips, I'm going to go in and line them with the New House Laboratories Lip Liner. This is the shade Myth. So I'm going to go in and line my lips. I'm obsessed with the lip products from this line. They're so good. And I'm going to go in and fill in the sides of my lips. We're kind of going to do like an ombre. I'll show you guys. I am going to leave the center of the lips blank though. So like that. And then I'm going to go in with the Natasha Denona liquid lipstick. This is an Au Natural. I really like this shade. And I like the liquid lipsticks from her too. I'm going to pop that in the center. And then just kind of blend it out. Lining your lips with a darker color and then doing a lighter color in the center like automatically makes them look bigger. So I've been liking doing this. And then for lip gloss, I'm going to go in with the shade Corset. This is also from House Laboratories. And go over everything with this. I'm going to actually add a little bit of Venus too. This is another lip gloss from House Laboratories. I really love these two kind of mixed. Got a lot of lip products going on, but it'll look really pretty in the end. Yes. All right, and then last but not least, we're going to spritz everything down with the Urban Decay All Nighter as always. So it lasts all day. I love how I said I'm going in with the All Nighter so it can last all day, <laughs> but all day and all night. All right, you guys, so this is the completed look, the completed transformation. I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys so much, and I will see you soon in my next video. Bye.